Since the global pandemic and ensuing lockdowns, many persons who frequent fitness gyms have had to resort to outdoor activities or staying fit at home. But still craving the gym experience, they're hoping that those facilities reopen soon. Here's Amajal Knowles. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted life in the Bahamas as we know it. What was once a routine is now a craving. One such group of persons craving the old routine are those who frequent fitness gyms. They spend countless hours weekly lifting weights to build and maintain muscles, engage in vigorous cardio workouts on elliptical and cycling machines, or attend aerobics classes. International health statistics show that cardiovascular or heart disease has been the leading cause of death for both men and women in the Bahamas, with a rate of 184 per 100,000 in the population in 2014. Hypertensive diseases or high blood pressure falls closely at 183 per 100,000 persons. Poor eating habits and obesity contribute to the staggering figures for a nation with serious health issues. There's a familiar slogan, the wealth of a nation is the health of a nation. If that's so, then healthy living can no longer be optional, but a necessity. A compelling argument for the hopeful reopening of fitness gyms soon. Like other industries, these facilities will have to operate under COVID-19 safety protocols in the Bahamas of new norms. Prior to the lockdowns, one gym in the Eastern District of New Providence had begun implementing safety measures during the early stages of the coronavirus epidemic. Measures as frequent equipment cleaning and the provision of hand sanitizers at different stations. Employee Alexandria Dean even shared tips to create your own wipes from a homemade method should the need arise. Basically, we grab some water, uh, some Dawn dishwashing liquid, and 70% rubbing alcohol. Gather them together, you just saturate the hand towel in the solution. When you're done, you actually let it sit for about three hours, and then you pull out the middle, and then you have yourself a wipe. Social distancing can be a challenge for fitness gyms, but frequent gym user as it rolled wasn't fearful of COVID-19. Concerned, yes. But afraid, no. Uh, I'm just doing as the health authorities have advised us to do, you know, to be careful. Uh, wash your hands constantly, uh, especially when you're touching surfaces that have been touched by other people. You use a lot of sanitizers, even at home, you know. <laughs> we wash our hands a lot uh, and, um, you know, we just sort of do the, you know, the general hygiene things that, that one should do in, in situations like this. Well, until the all clear is given to reopen fitness gyms, Hazard and others will have to continue craving for the opportunity to work up a sweat in an environment that offers many different options to do so in the Bahamas post-COVID-19. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Amajal Knowles.